Oh, excuse me. Oh, coffee. Coffee come back up. Not good. Not good. Three, two, one, bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and this is Meta Game Minute. Too long. I get it. Metagame Minute is a twice weekly segment where Mike and I talk about anything we want to talk about in gaming. And today I want to talk about tiebreakers. Tiebreakers are a big deal in games because a lot of games you end up tying. There are some games where you can't tie at all, maybe a racing game or something like that. But a lot of games you can. Any game that's based on points, for the most part, you could potentially come down to a tie. And a lot of games, I would say even most games, come with a tiebreaker. Like the tiebreaker might be whoever has the most money or whoever has the most energy, whoever has the most porcupines. I don't know, but there's usually a tiebreaker. But then some games don't come with a tiebreaker. And I kind of wanted to ask your opinions on tiebreakers. Do you think that they're necessary? I, I, I don't think it bugs anyone to have a tiebreaker, but do you? does it bug you when there isn't a tiebreaker? Most times it's like, oh, this is the tiebreaker, and then if you tie after that, um, all the players who won share the victory. Personally, in my own way, I actually don't mind the whole you share the victory thing. That doesn't bother me at all. I'm like, cool, we both won, awesome. But at least personally for me, I want at least one tiebreaker. Now, all I need is one because some games have like 10 where it's like, if you're tied, this is the tiebreaker. But if you're still tied, then this is the tiebreaker. If you're still tied, this is the tiebreaker. If you're still tied, then this is the I'm like, I don't need all that. Personally, I mean, if it has it, it doesn't really bug me, but I'm just like, that to me is unnecessary, but I want at least one. Have one. I think it's relatively easy to find some kind of goal, arbitrary or not, to go for for a tiebreaker, because then about halfway through the game, I can go, hmm, well, the tiebreaker is to have the most money. So let's make sure at the end of the game, I have a decent amount of money. And that's all you have to do. You don't have to think about it past that. And I don't wanna have to think about it past that. But I do like having that little bit of nugget of an information in my head about like, oh, this is the tiebreaker. So I should have an excess of this, or I should be this far on this track. So just in case I tie, I have a good chance of winning anyway. So that's how I feel about it. This is a pretty short, pretty easy metagame minute because that's just what it is. I want at least one, if possible. Again, it doesn't like, I don't like hate a designer for not putting one in there, but to me, it seems like a pretty easy thing to put in a game for the most part. Again, I don't design games, so I could be totally wrong about that, but it seems like it'd be pretty easy. A little addendum to that, do you ever come up with your own tiebreaker? If there is a game that doesn't have a tiebreaker, do you ever go like, okay, house rule is being this far on this track, that's the tiebreaker, boom. That's just for us, da 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 Do you ever do that? I don't think I've ever done that, but it popped my head while I was doing this metagame minute. That's called adaptation, baby. I hit myself in the face. And I'm curious if anyone actually does that, because I think that could be a, a good little rule. So let me know down in the comments below how you feel in this whole situation. And please make sure to like and share this video if you liked it. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed already. And until next time, whether there's 10 tiebreakers or one or none, remember, the more meta, the more better. <laughs> These end bumpers are always exactly the same. We're always sponsored by Restoration Games, and we always have funny little videos over here that you can check out that relate to this video. But you know why it's really always the same? Because we live in LA, and it never changes here. It's 85 and sunny every day, including right now. You know it. Check the weather. Middle of the night. Don't care. 85!